WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday, two hours left to go in the trading day. We have a mixed market of sorts. NASDAQ leading the way up. NASDAQ positive by 30 points, from almost four-tenths percent, trading at 8,129. We've got the S&P still negative by about one point, trading at 2974, pretty close to flat. Dow Jones, the laggard, negative 67 points, or about a quarter percent off in the red, trading at 26,738. We'll start things off. We're going to start it off with the NASDAQ 100 because it's been quite a run, folks. Check out that overnight low, 77.43. We're now more than 100 points above that level, 78.46, up more than a half a percent on the NASDAQ 100. Let's jump over to some of the indices. There is your NASDAQ 100. Just from co some context, that's a five-minute chart. Man, it's been quite a good day since about 5 a.m. in the morning. S&P 500, pretty similar story. There's your lows at 4 and 5 6 a.m. in the morning, we start higher, 29.64. We're now up at 29.79, flirting with basically flat to slightly in the red. Dow 30, a little bit of a different story. We were down there at 4 and 6 in the morning. We were back down there at those lower levels right after the opening bell. Check out that low, 26.666. Lots of sixes in there. And uh, session highs as we speak, though, on the Dow. As we got two hours left in trading, we'll see if the Dow and the S&P can sneak their way into positive territory before that closing bell. Crude oil, $57.83, had been above $58 briefly early this morning, back under that level. We'll get API number for inventory for crude, two and a half hours from right now, 4.30 Eastern time tonight. And the gold contract, right at $1,400, volatility in gold as well. We were as low early in the morning, below $1,390. Gold bulls, got to like that you're getting back above that $1,400 price point, just even for a mental standpoint in terms of that round number, $1,400. And Euro US dollars sitting one twelve eleven. In terms of what else you have happening out there, touched on it last hour. Pepsi coming out with their earnings. Pretty interesting in terms of what they beat and what they put up. Uh, to jump over to their chart, they beat on earnings per share. They beat on revenue. But Pepsi, priced for perfection, is the analyst accord and down 1.2%. But put this in context, folks. Check out that run on Pepsi, going from about 105 up to 130 just this fiscal year. So maybe just giving it a little bit of breather as it was just priced for perfection. Stay tuned. We're going to man Dave White back in the saddle at 2 o'clock. Steve Rhodes filling in live at 3 and Larry Pesavento live at 4 Eastern time. Have a great Tuesday.